Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 127th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, and to start off, earlier this week, Apple released iOS 6.1.1 to the public. And unlike last week's beta version, the public firmware is exclusive to the iPhone 4S and was issued for the sole purpose of correcting an abnormal bug that causes the battery to drain over 3G at a rapid rate. And Apple's over-the-air update feature reveals that the new version is only 23 megabytes in size over the previous iOS 6.1 firmware. And thankfully, because Apple was rushed to push out 6.1.1 to iPhone 4S owners, they didn't patch the vulnerabilities exploited by the Evasion Untethered Jailbreak utility. And thanks to the Evader's recent 1.3 update to Evasion, it can now successfully jailbreak the iPhone 4S on iOS 6.1.1, and I actually created another jailbreak tutorial that went into depth and provided step-by-step -step instructions for how to jailbreak the iPhone 4S on the latest firmware. So I'll have a link to that video down below in the more info if you want to update and then jailbreak your iPhone 4S. Next, also earlier this week, it was revealed that approximately 7 million iOS devices had been jailbroken using Evasion. And obviously that number is significantly bigger now. That figure is just less than a week old. And along the same lines, the Evaders pushed out Evasion version 1.2 to correct a few bugs and also to disable the daemons responsible for Apple's over-the-air update feature. And of course, after 1.2 and iOS 6.1.1, the Evaders released a new version of Evasion, version 1.3, to again jailbreak the iPhone 4S on iOS 6.1.1. Now if you don't know what to do after you jailbreak, maybe you're lost or you don't know which packages have been updated to include support for the latest firmwares and the latest iOS based devices, then just be sure to check out my new top 10 tweaks video. After my top city of tweaks video from last week was such a hit, I decided to create another one. So if you guys want a new list of 10 amazing tweaks, then just be sure to check down below in the more info. Next, Firecore's development team has recently updated Season Pass to include the vulnerabilities discovered by the evaders. Now, for those of you who don't know, Season Pass is a jailbreak utility for the second generation Apple TV. And now, thanks to the recent update, it can jailbreak the Apple TV 2 or the second generation Apple TV on iOS 5. 5.2, which essentially is the Apple TV equivalent of iOS 6.1. Now, for those of you who will ask what you can do with a jailbroken Apple TV, it allows you to install third-party utilities via terminal, or you can pay to have Firecore's ATV flash black and sell some really great modifications. Furthermore, a jailbroken Apple TV can play most file types, access video files on a hard drive or networked storage device, for example, the time capsule, surf the web, and much more. And of course, I did create an in-depth jailbreak tutorial for the Apple TV 2 on iOS 5.2 or 6.1. So if you're interested in jailbreaking your Apple TV, just be sure to check out that video and its corresponding written tutorial. Next up, kind of along the same lines today, in a new report from a German site that accurately predicted the release of iOS 6.1.1, Apple may be planning to release 6.1.2 to the public in the first half of next week. It said that the new update will be issued to address an exchange bug and a known lock screen passcode issue, both of which are present in iOS 6.1. And according to the source, iOS 6.1.2 may be released before next Wednesday, February 20th. And similar to Apple's iPhone 4S exclusive 6.1.1, iOS 6.1.2 will be a rather small update and it should hopefully just correct the exchange and lock screen issues. And in light of that fact, it's highly probable that, like iOS 6.1.1, Apple will leave the vulnerabilities that are exploited by Evasion to achieve an untethered jailbreak on iOS 6 through 6.1.1, unpatched in 6.1.2. And because the 6.1.1 beta is different than the final release, and because Apple is reportedly scheduled to release 6.1.2, it's likely that their beta release last week will be pushed back, most likely to 6.1.1. All right, and finally, according to a new article on Bloomberg that cites two people familiar with the company's plans, Apple reportedly has a team of 100 product designers developing an advanced post-PC smartwatch. And while the New York Times had previously suggested that Apple was only experimenting with a smartwatch featuring curved glass, Bloomberg believes that such a device has escalated beyond any previous experimental stage. And there's additional information on the alleged smartwatch, unofficially dubbed the iWatch, on the post that I'll have a link to down below in the more info. I'll also include links to all of the videos I've released since last week's episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. 
All right, and that's it for this video. For the question of the day, let me know how your guys' iDevices are doing after the Evasion Untethered iOS 6 through 6.1.1 Untethered Jailbreak. Also, don't forget to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment in the comment section to automatically be entered into my new giveaway. I did recently conclude my Amazon gift card giveaway, and the names of the two winners that were selected at random are on the screen now. I've already contacted them, and if they don't contact me back in a timely manner to receive their prize, then I'll continue that giveaway. This time around, though, I'm giving away a $100 iTunes gift card. So again, to be entered to win, just be sure to rate this video up or any of my recent videos and leave a relevant comment in the comment section. All right, and don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google Plus to be updated more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.